Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to another video. We have the 1st of August right now. A new month has started and today is also a big national day here in Switzerland. So we are celebrating today's uh, event unfortunately with a bitcoin breakdown because as you can see in the last couple of hours unfortunately we broke here below our short-term support and right now we are finding some support at around twenty-eight thousand eight hundred dollars so we're gonna analyze here what is going on and of course what are here the targets for a potential continuation to the downside so if you like this crypto content make sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel and check out all all the links that you find in the video description especially to all the recommended exchanges it's always good to diversify into several exchanges and if you're trading with leverage right now then make sure to trade over on Bybit because there is a trading event going on starting on the 7th of August if I'm not wrong you can read all the details on with the link in the video description and I am also trading on this team that you can see here this BitGene team this will be the squad that I will be joining so if you want to trade with me then make sure to be a part of this team over here and also let me know in the comment section uh, uh, if you are trading on this event or not it's going to start in five days so make sure to register to bybit the link is here in the video description then of course check out this website because here you can claim every hour some free bitcoin and also play some games with your free bitcoin so every hour you can claim here some sets and you can be part also of a bitcoin lottery here and also play those games here completely for free so as you can see here um, I just won some more Satoshis uh, and there are also some other contests that you can uh, be part of and for example here win a Lamborghini so that's why check this website out it's completely for free uh, you have to sign up with your email and claim every hour some free sets then you can play with those and no deposit nothing needed so you can uh, play on this website without doing any deposit and also check out the newest pre-sales that are linked here in the video description those are the newest ones if you are looking for uh, upcoming potential hyped coins so i'm going to do some videos about them uh, in the not so distant future but you can already see them with the link here in the video description and now guys let's start dive here into the four hour time frame actually let's go straight into the daily time frame because here we already broke down and um, from the support at $29,800 we already have now a four hour close below and here in the daily you can see that we didn't manage to break above the median line of the Kelton channels and the 20 daily moving average so we still got rejected here and right now we are seeing continuation to the downside so here in the daily you can see that we have the bottom line of the Kelton's channels and the 100 daily moving average at $28,500. This was our main support that needed to be hold here on the monthly time frame last month. And since last month we closed above of it. So this was at the 20 monthly moving average. You can see that with the new month that just started today, we have now the 20 monthly moving average lower because it has still a negative slope. And currently it is here at $27,700. So for this month, the most important support will be this one here, the 20 monthly moving average at $27,700. And currently, of course, we are seeing continuation to the downside. This is our next major support. If this one is going to fail, then watch out for the 200 daily moving average at $26,700. This would be the bearish scenario if we see continuation to the downside. And I think that we will uh, have a bit more pressure here in the next coming uh, days and weeks because although if we have a look into the US dollar index you can see that here we are still in this uh, rally and as long as we don't top out here and create for example up here a lower high compared to the previous ones we're most likely going to get some pressure in the crypto and stock market in the stock market we are just in this consolidation phase so also here Nasdaq is still looking extremely bullish but as long as the US dollar index is in, is in this short term rally of course this will bring, bring pressure in the crypto market that's why, in my opinion, short term, 
the most support the most important support is twenty thousand five hundred dollars and twenty six thousand seven hundred fifty dollars as long as we are in a downtrend and only once we have again daily closes at least above the median line of the Keldner channels or the 20 daily moving average so back above this support uh, this new resistance trend line here at twenty nine thousand seven hundred dollars we must remain bearish but once we have daily closes above i think that we can start to be again more bullish and expect a continuation to the uh, upside again for ethereum here also we are breaking down we also here we got rejected by the same moving averages and here the main support is at the bottom line of the Keltner channels and the 200 daily moving average at around 1700 dollars if we're going to see here continuation to the downside but since we are still looking extremely good in the bigger time frames like the weekly and monthly i still going to remain optimistic for the crypto stock market and of course also for the um, for Nasdaq, for the stock market, of course, and bearish for the US dollar index, because here, especially in the weekly time frame, you can see that here we are running into major resistance. We have the median line of the Keltner channels, the 20 weekly moving average, and of course, this resistance trend line. As long as we don't have weekly closes above, let's say, 103, we can remain bearish here for the US dollar index and expect that we will meet the target here finally at around the 200 weekly moving average and if this would be happening then of course this will fire up the crypto and stock market for bitcoin you can see that also here we are right at the tw uh, yes at the 20 weekly moving average as i told you in many videos already the 20 weekly moving average is the most important moving average that needs to be held in the weekly time frame so we shouldn't see weekly closes below the 20 weekly right now at $28,500 because otherwise the trend is uh, this, this uptrend is over and we will enter into a downtrend in the weekly time frame but as you can see also here we have a lot of support here we have the 200 weekly moving average the median line of the Kelton channels and the 20 weekly moving average we have a lot of support here on the weekly that's why i think that we are most likely just going to create something like we also did here in the past something like this just a retracement to scare everyone out of the market and afterwards have like a, a like one massive green candle to the upside that will take us towards a new level then again a long consolidation phase and so on so that's why as long as the weekly close is above the 20 weekly moving average we can remain bullish here for the crypto market we also of course are going to have a look here into the usr index because here although we shouldn't have weekly closes above because here we have the opposite the 20 weekly is a resistance as you can see here so we must remain uh, below the 20 weekly moving average then we should expect a continuation to the downside and for nasdaq i think that here uh, we are most likely on the way to retest the all-time high, maybe even create new all-time highs in the next coming weeks. If we would retrace back below the top side of the Keltner channels and the nine weekly moving average, that would lead into a retest of important support levels like here or here, and we would still remain in an uptrend. So that's why long-term we are very bullish for the crypto and stock market, but short-term many things can happen, so, uh, happen of course. Uh, and the retracement is ongoing right now, this is just leading into a, another buy opportunity, in my opinion. Don't forget that Bitcoin is the best asset in the world. No one can take away every Bitcoin, every set, set that we, you have accumulated. So that's why Bitcoin is here to stay. Make sure to accumulate as much as you can. And of course, uh, take advantage of all the crypto products and exchanges that you find here in the video description. Use several exchanges, split your risks and also split your trades. I'm still in all my longs in several exchanges. I'm not going to close any of them until we're going to reach at least 40 to 50K, which is still my target here for Bitcoin. Even though right now, also the median line of the Kaltner, uh, no, the top side of the Kaltner channels, which is my target of this bear market rally, is also declining. As you can see, it is currently at $40,870. So this, mo this moving average is also declining and is reaching now the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. I still expect that Bitcoin will reach uh, this uh, price area here uh, between 40 to 50K for this run. But of course, the more we consolidate here, the lower here those moving averages will come. So that's why we should start to rally here as soon as possible and leave this consolidation phase uh, because like that we can expect 40 to 50k uh, for bitcoin next before eventually we even come down to retest the low 20s which in my opinion currently is not very likely but could be possible 
uh, if for example we would lose the 20 monthly moving average as a support and of course also the 20 weekly moving average as a support so let's wait and see for now everything is in theory still looking good as long as we don't break important significant support levels in the we in the bigger time frames like the weekly and monthly we should be still good to go uh, to the upside even though short term of course the daily and four hour time frame are suggesting that we could easily come down towards uh, uh, those supports here the $28,500 level and $26,700 level let me know in the comment section what do you think will we are we now on the way towards uh, those uh, bearish price targets or do you think that this is just a bear trap and that we are about to moon here towards 40 to 50k in the next coming weeks and months so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you very much for watching check out all the links in the video description claim every hour some free sets be part of this uh, trading event over on bybit use the links here in the video description for more details and also check out my girlfriend's youtube channel because she's doing a very great job in cooking and also showing you all the nicest places here in switzerland so definitely subscribe also to that channel it's linked here in the video description so thank you for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye for now.